Hey there. I'm sure you've seen these things whether at a restaurant, the movies, or an arcade. It's the claw machine. My name's Matt and I collect arcade games like this as a hobby. And right now I'm going to show you several of the most important tips on playing the claw machine to help make your next trip to this beast of a game a success. Alright, first let's take a look inside the machine. Now everything varies by machine type, but the only thing that's really important to you, the player, are these two knobs right here. These two knobs right here are called potentiometers, and one is responsible for controlling how strong the claw closes, and the other one is responsible for controlling how fast the claw closes, or how slow the claw closes. Now these can be adjusted depending on the prizes. If there's more expensive prizes, for example, these can be adjusted to be weaker, and vice versa, they can also be adjusted to be stronger. So this is definitely an important aspect of playing the claw game, and a good way to get a look at this is watch someone else play first, and you'll be able to tell how fast the claw closes and how strong the claw closes based upon their play. All right, next we're going to take a look at the claw itself, and, th and again, these will vary from machine from machine. Some are larger, some are smaller, depending especially on the plush and the size of the machine. Now there's one setting on this claw that's very important to you, and that is, see this little triangle right here? This controls how far the claw will open when it is returned to the home position, meaning this is at a, the claw's in its normal state right now, it's open. And there's two settings on this. Right now, the claw is open as far as it can go. It's on the biggest setting. Now if I move, adjust this little triangle here, which the owner can do, now you can see the claw, the claw's opening here has shortened. Now this is important to you, this setting here is used mainly for jewelry items, but once again, if there's plush involved, for example, say this fish is laying flat, now you try to go for it and the claw is, you could tell the claw is here on the, the uh, more close setting. If you try to go for this fish, it's gonna, the claw is going to have a hard time getting around that. And that's one thing that's very important to you that you have to watch. That way you don't go for items that are pretty much impossible to get if it's on this short setting here, the claw's not open as much. So it doesn't have as much room to fit around certain plush. All right, now we're gonna take a look at the types of prizes that are in crane machines. So I'm just gonna go through the general ones that you will find in most crane machines. This is probably your most common type of plush, just regular size. This is gonna be your novelty items. These are usually a little bit harder to get. You'll find a lot of these in jewelry machines. Uh, the third type is a beanie, meaning it has uh, beans inside. <laughs> These are usually really hard to get because they're heavier than the regular size plush. Uh, you have to usually, they usually have to be a really strong claw grip or they have to be really close to the prize chute in order for you to get them. Otherwise, they usually fall before that you get to it. And the last type, once again, these are found in treasure chests. These are watches or any other type of jewelry. Now, an, an important thing you want to keep in mind, especially with watches, is only go for ones that are looped like this. That way the claw can grab it. If it's open, you have it's like a one in a million shot of getting that. So always make sure jewelry or any watch is looped before getting it. All right, now I'm going to show you a few examples of how to grab plush the best way possible so you can maximize your winning potential. All right, the first one, I have the, this plush animal sitting straight up. These ones are sitting straight up. Now, this, as you can see, is not surrounded by any other plush, so it's not wedged, so it should be pretty easy to get. When it's like this, you want to make sure the claw, this middle part of the claw here, which is the solenoid, up here, you're going to want to make sure it is center with the plush's head. That way, it's not, it should be right in the middle and it should close right on its head and grab it easily. Just like that. And that'll give it the strongest grip and we'll hold it to the prize chute. All right, here's another example with a plush laying on its stomach, so to speak. Now, you want to make sure the claw goes around his 
I guess stomach, I guess you could say. His stomach, right here. Now, this is going to keep this plush in the most secure position all the way to the prize shoe. And it has a very slim chance of breaking loose if you get a good grip. So, you just want to make sure it's centered. That should grab it just like that. Perfect grab. Okay, now here's another example I have with round objects, or as in this case, a baseball. When you're grabbing objects like this, you want to make sure, again, that this part of the claw is centered around the ball. That way it grabs it perfectly and it doesn't slip out when the claw is closed. It doesn't slip out here, here, or in the front. It is absolutely crucial that it is centered when you grab any type of round object. And make sure it is, this part here is absolutely centered with this ball. Even look to the side if you have to. That's another pointer too. Always go look to the side and that will help your view both ways. Drop. It's like a good grab. Perfect grab. As you can see the ball did not slip out, obviously. And it doesn't even want to let go. There you go. Alright, and finally I'm going to show you a tip on getting stuff like jewelry and watches. Now it is definitely important to make sure one of these claws, whichever way it twists, is to be in the center of the looped watch. Remember, make sure the jewelry or the watch is looped so the claw, when the claw closes, it can grab it. Now, it is also important to watch and pay attention to when the claw is released, how it spins on the way down. Because usually it spins the same way each time. So, if you miss it the first time, learn from your mistake. So we're going to try it first here. Try to get it. There we go. Well, thanks for watching. I really hope some of these tips helped you out. And good luck always playing one of the greatest arcade games ever invented, The Claw. Thanks for watching.